guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm giving my patio a nice little makeover. So this is what it looks like before. Uh, we actually just sold our old patio set in a yard sale because I wanted to purchase a new one. We picked the old one up from a yard sale about nine or 10 years ago and it was just starting to get a little bit rusted. It wasn't the prettiest little thing I've ever seen. So um, we really did get some good use out of it uh, for a yard sale find. But I picked this one up off of Target and Target has been having some killer deals and I will link this one below for you guys if you want to check it out. But the chairs came separate from the table, um, although it is a set and I actually paid under $600 for this patio set, which I think is a killer deal because I have been looking for months and months and months for a patio set and they were in the thousands range, if not even almost $2,000. So this one, I have six wicker chairs and then they come with little cushions and then I am just going to be putting the table together. And this table was honestly the easiest thing to put together. It was a little heavy to flip back over and over and get that box out. So um, it may, sh it probably should have been like a two person job, but um, you know what? This was the day I wanted to do it. This is the day I wanted to put it together and I was home alone. So um, it really only took like six to eight different screws and just a few, you just had to put the legs on. Um, I always like to do things at my own pace, at my own time. I think we had this in the garage for like two or so days and then it rained and then I'm like, okay, it's not raining. Uh, my husband power washed the patio. Like I want to get this out right now, today. I want it finished. Like if you're uh, like me, you like things done fast. You like things done when you want, how you want. It's just how I work sometimes. Um, but yeah, this was honestly super, super easy to put together. So anyone who does not think that they could do this alone, you 100% can. All right, so once this table was completely done, I did have to flip it over again. So I ended up kind of flipping it in the grass because I did scratch it just a little bit on one of the edges from flipping it so many times. I had a ton of garbage to pick up. I did not pick that up as I was going. So I ended up having garbage like flying and the wind was blowing. So I had just garbage everywhere. So I picked that up before I started doing anything else here. Now I'm just aligning it. Normally we align it with our windows, but because we have a lot of kid toys. There's a sandbox over there. I didn't want it to be too close to the sandbox. Also say this now that I kept the patio really minimal. I feel like that if everything is very minimal in our outdoors, that it is easier to take care of. We already have a really large yard. And although I don't mow that, I do like our patio nice. I do like our front porch nice. And I do like the landscaping to look good as well. Um, when it's hot out, I don't go outside. When there's mosquitoes, I don't go outside. So <laughs> I think that this is just the perfect touches and just the perfect amount for items that are outside. So right now I am putting the cushions on and then I'm going to start planting some flowers. So this is like what I like to do outside. So my husband mows the lawn, he weed wax, he does all of that. Um, he has like a special perfectionist way he likes to do that. And then um, we both take care of the animals outside in the winter and the summertime. And then I just really like decorating and planting and watering flowers. We 
also have a small vegetable garden. Last year, I found these boxes, these like wooden boxes that you can plant veggies in, and it makes everything very minimal outside, so you're not having to pull a ton of weeds. Uh, in Michigan is where I'm from. Uh, we don't have the best summers like it can be really nice for a few weeks and then it'll be super hot you don't want to go outside and then the mosquitoes come and then you really don't want to be outside um so i make whatever is easier for me so these are all the pots and planters that i have and these were actually things that i've already had on hand i just use from year to year and then i'm just using some old soil and then i ended up picking up um I didn't actually pick it up. I actually found it in the woods. I actually just found a ton of dirt and I'm cheap when it comes to things, but it was like really great dirt for planting. Uh, so that's what I did here. I just planted a ton of flowers. I don't know the names of a lot of these. I just like to walk to Walmart uh, or walk into Walmart. I don't walk to Walmart. That'd be really far, uh, but walk into Walmart and just pick out things that I think look pretty and nice and that will look good in these planners. But why I'm chatting here, do you guys plant a ton of flowers in like garden beds? Do you have uh, flower pots you like to put them in? I really like just doing flowers in pots because once they are dead and gone, you can just take the pots. I We keep the dirt in them every single year and then I just replant them every single year and it seems to be working out really well. Um, so I'm not a professional gardener or a planter or flower genius of any sort, uh, but I just really like doing it and it's a really fun hobby and it's a really fun for me to actually be able to go outside and do something that I truly enjoy doing. Um, it started to get pretty warm on this day. So you're going to see later on that I did have different clothing on because I had to wait and do this a different day to finish everything off. But this large bucket, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's a wash bucket. This came from my grandma and she gave this to me quite a few years ago and I've never done anything with it. And I thought this would be really cute to throw some lavender in. I've also seen people put these on the sides um, like tilt them on the side and then have their flowers like flowing out of it. Um, since we have rocks for our landscaping, I did not want dirt all over our rocks. So that was just not really an option for me. Although I think it is super cute when people do put that in their landscaping. Um, right now I'm just going to be throwing the lavender down. The lavender is supposed to keep away mosquitoes. So I thought it would be a perfect touch for pretty much the center of our patio when we want to lay on that sunbed. That sunbed that you did see is from um, ABBA patio. They sent it to me a couple years ago and I am obsessed with it. The kids are obsessed with it. We love using it. And then I'm just adding my flowers all over the patio and kind of scooting the sandbox just a little bit. We keep it there because the kids kid likes to play with it. So um, I thought that, you know, since it is a family patio, um, we would just leave it there and yes sand does get all over the patio and we just sweep it off or the rain eventually washes it away so this is a different day as you can tell um, my kids are home from summer vacation and i'm just finishing planting the rest of these flowers i've been watering them like crazy uh, because it has been like a week or two i want to say a week or so since um the first part of this video. Uh, this little side piece, this came from Tractor Supply and I think it's like a cooler or for something similar like that, but I just like to put some pots in there and then I did have one last pot that I did not have anything in, but I just set it there just in case later down the road I choose to add something. Um, and then right here, this planner. I'm not sure where this actually came from. Probably tractor supply. And I'm just sticking these little animals in. We've had these for so long. I think my husband picked them up. I'm not sure where, but they just looked really cute with the flowers. And then this centerpiece, I've had this basket from a yard sale. That candle was from Goodwill. And then that solar goat barn that was from Tractor Supply. And then I'm just going to be adding a little duck to the front of this. And I think that duck came from a yard sale as well. He looks kind of sad um, and chippy, but I actually just really like the way he looks. So he's staying there. Just adding these little mason jars. These were my mom's and she no longer wanted them. So I took them off her hands and I love those. And then right here... A couple years ago, um, we had a ton of trees fall and my husband had to cut a ton of trees up and we had a ton of wood and these were some of the little leftover 
tree trunks and we thought we would turn them into planters. So the last few years they have become planters uh, next to our patio. But this is what it looks like when it is all done. Like I said, I kept it very minimal and this is very easy to take care of. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.